Hello everyone, so we will be doing the pipework 2 in here, uh, which is in the same Blackboard folder, pipework 2, which is this drawing. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay, so this drawing indicates we have two equipments. Uh, one is 11.01 and 3. And another one is 1301, and the nozzle is N1. So the direction is from 1101 N3 towards uh, 1301 N1. So this is my head, this is my tail. Okay, this is my branch connection. So this is just one, a single branch connection. And as you can see, the pipe diameter is not given anywhere. So uh, what we can see from here is uh, like this is a straight pipe. We have the three components. Uh, so we have this a 90 degree elbow, another 90 degree elbow, and another 90 degree elbow. And whenever there is nozzle, there should be a gasket and flange. So flanges, like uh, in the previous pipework one, the flange and gasket we didn't create, it was automatically generated. But here, um, uh, like, Sometimes it doesn't work because uh, the pipe specification uh, you selected from the library and the nozzle, if those two doesn't match, the flinch doesn't automatically generate. So you just have to create it at that time. But anyways, uh, this is not, not that issue for this uh, classwork. So let me add these two equipment. So 11.01 and 13.01. So let me just remove the previous equipment. So this is a blank uh, side. So what we will do is uh, we will uh, create a side. Uh, so it's giving me an error because this sample is selected. I can generate a side over there. So let me select it again. So there you go, my side. Let's name it pipe two. To be. Okay, so I'll create a zone in here, general zone. Let's just go with the default. So I want to create my pipe, uh, pipe work two in this zone, but let me add my equipment first. So just from the library, it was 1101, I think. Let's make sure. Yes, 1101. Same procedure, add or add only. The second one is 1301, 1301. So these two equipments, I will use these two equipments to create my pipe uh, connection, okay? So uh, we are done with this one. So I'll select this zone and then go to the piping and create a pipe connection, okay? As you can see, it's asking for a name. Let's say pipe two. Four diameter, we don't know. Pipe specification, A3B always for the class. Uh, the rest of the part is not important. So, so it's asking, okay, the same name is already exists. So we just add something up. Okay, there you go. So I created a pipe connection in my new zone and a branch is created, but the branch is not finished because as you can see, branch head is unconnected, branch tail is unconnected. From the drawing, we can see the branch head starts from 11.01 nozzle three. So uh, same procedure, pick the head and left click on the equipment. Uh, so you can see the list. Our nozzle is N3, so which is 200 millimeter. So there you go, our bore diameter. We'll connect head to the selected item. So head is selected, okay? And then branch tail, same procedure, selection option, left click on the equipment and the nozzle is N1. 
So there you go. It's the same diameter. So there shouldn't, uh, you don't need any reducer or anything like that because the same, it's the same diameter pipe connecting from head to tail. So I'll finish the branch connection. So the branch connection is done. So next part is create components. But as you can see, like previously, when you created this uh, in the pipe open, when we created the branch, automatically the pipe was displayed, right? Because that was a straight line connection. We didn't need any additional components. But now to make this pipe connection, we need components to connect from head to tail. That's why it's just showing the branch by a dotted line, not the actual pipe connection because the component is not there yet. So what we will do is we will go to the piping and create components in this branch, okay? So let me select the component, create new component. So these are different components from the library. Uh, it's like this is a flange, this is an elbow, this is a T-joint, reducer, stuff like that. So what we will do is, uh, um, same procedure we will start from head uh, now if you go down it says uh, uh, like create mode it means like which flow direction do you want to do if you want to start from head you should go with the flow direction because in this drawing this is the flow direction from head to tail so if you start from head this is your flow direction but uh, if you start from tail, you're going against the flow direction. So we want to start from head uh, uh, in these drawings, uh, but you can do it from tail as well. There is no issue with that. So if you want to start from head, we'll select towards the flow direction. And what kind of component do you want to create? You want to create an elbow. So there are three elbows exists exists in my library. Uh, and I know this was a 90 degree elbow. So either I can choose the first one or the third one. The first one, uh, I think it gives me a freedom to select different angles. So I'll just go with this one for now. So I'll, I'll select this elbow uh, and create components to finish the component. It will give you an arrow, just ignore this one. Uh, let me show you some issue you might have. So as you can see, the dotted line didn't move. It's it's still from over head to tail, but the dotted line should have moved to the end point of my new component. So what was the problem? So the problem was, uh, as you can see, I say like uh, create component in the flow direction and by default, it starts from uh, the exact nozzle point. But as you can see, when we created the branch, by default, some gasket and flange was created. So this component is connected to the nozzle, not the previous component, because this is only the connection with the nozzle, with, with the gasket, and then after the gasket, there is a flange over there. So after the flange, elbow should come in, but the problem is elbow is also connected to the nozzle. So it's overlapping this gasket and flange. And that's why the connection didn't move. Connection should have moved over there. So how do you fix it? Because this is not the right way because, uh, to do the piping. So let me redo it again. So which flange is it? I don't know, okay? So what we can do is we can select the gasket. As you can see, it's uh, the name display. So it's, if I say flange two, nothing does. Flange one, as you can see, the flange pops up. So my flange one is actually at the head. Uh, we can ident identify it this way. So my uh, elbow should come after the flange one. So I'll select the flange and then create the component. Uh, then create this elbow component. So let me do it again. And as you can see, the dotted line moved at the end part of the elbow. So this is working fine. This is how it should be. All right, let me go back to the drawing. So the elbow is uh, more like directing to the downward direction, okay? But my elbow is uh, to the right direction. So how do you modify this one? So select this elbow 
And then as you can see here, there is the modify option, not the new component, but the modify component option. So once you go to the modify, it says the uh, this is a uh, be careful of this one. Everyone makes mistake in here. So it says changes to forward mode. Right now it's in backward mode. Like if you create a component, it will create it at the head part of this component. Like if you create another elbow after this, it will create it inside the equipment or inside the nozzle because it's in the uh, backward mode right now. So make sure if you're working from head, make sure it's in the forward uh, mode, okay? If you're starting from tail, make sure it's in the backward mode. All right, so after uh, doing the selection, I just want to make it downward. So I'll make it downward, there you go. And after this component, so we don't, we can actually create a straight line pipe, but in this case, we don't know how long it is, okay? So most of the cases, you don't need to create the straight line pipe. It will automatically generate if you have two components at the right location and they are at the same diameter, same as the pipe work one, the straight line pipe will automatically generate it. So after this component, the next component is another elbow, 90 degree elbow. So what we will do, we'll just ignore for now, just ignore this straight, uh, downward pipe and create the next elbow. Uh, uh, same way, you can go to the select, select this elbow, forward mode, just create the new elbow. As you can see, the dotted line move to the next elbow. Uh, this is elbow two. So I want to modify the elbow. Uh, this elbow should have a direction towards uh, this way uh, uh, towards the next equipment, which is west direction in here. So let me do, it might seem confusing. So take a look at this uh, coordinate uh, options. So it is, uh, the next uh, equipment is towards the east west direction. That's why I selected west and it moved. It's still working in the forward mode. Now, how much do I need to go down? You can go down by some certain length or towards this um, tail point, but it will not be very accurate. So the ideal scenario would be, let me hold this one at the top for now, and then create the elbow at the tail and then align them all together, okay? So let me show you how. So I know the flange two is the flange connected to the tail. So if I need to create an elbow from the tail, I need to start from this flange too because flange two and gasket is already connected with the tail. And, uh, okay, and uh, the same thing. So the direction should be now against the flow, right? Because we're starting from tail. So against the flow, select this elbow, the same type of elbow. Um, creating an uh, elbow, as you can see the dotted line Okay, at the dotted line moved. Okay, uh, now to mo modify this elbow three, this one should uh, have a direction towards the east. Now we are working from tail, right? So I told you again and again, like you, need, if you're starting from tail, you need to work in the backward mode. So I'm moving it to the backward mode again, and then towards the east. There you go, now it's in the right direction. So I'll go back to elbow two and I, I will do a trick here. So I'll do go to the elbow two and start working in the forward mode. And what I will do is I'll move this elbow towards the next elbow. I don't know what the height is, but I'll just say like, like go down by however much like wh wherever this next elbow is, next elbow Y coordinate is, okay? So uh, what I can do is not the orientation, but there you go, position through. So position through, like this one is position through branch head or tail, like if you just want to go to from this point to tail point or something, and uh, this one is position through previous element. So if you're working from tail, 
And this one is, I think, position through next component. So I want to position through the next component. So I'll do this one. As you can see, it went all the way down. I don't even need to know like what the height is. Now, according to the drawing, it should connect. Okay. But again, I told you this drawing and this library doesn't match well. Let me show you why. So uh, as you can see, they are not aligned. According to the drawing, they should be aligned, but they are not aligned. Okay. So uh, easiest way, let's say you're facing this kind of problem in an actual work. The drawing is not working. So how do you modify that one? Do you need to just move the equipment? That's an absurd thing to do. So what you can do is to easily fix this issue is, uh, what I will do is I'll select elbow two because I'm still working in the elbow two is from the head. And I'm still in, working in the forward mode. What I will do is I'll do an orientation, orientation towards the next component. So what you will, you will do is it will move the angle. As you can see, just look at it. It moved a little towards this component. And now I'll select elbow three because I need to move this one as well because they are not aligned yet. And working in the backward mode, and not the next, I want to align with the previous. So where is it? Isn't there anything? Okay, let's do this one. Yeah, align with the next because we are working in the reverse direction. That is the next one. So whenever they are aligned, the straight line pipe is automatically generated. And there you go, my pipeline. Okay. That's it. 